Deadfall um, by Stefan Rutzwitzki, who um, the guy that made the Counterfeiters, which is a kind of increasingly bonkers neo-gothic thriller starring Eric Banner, Olivia Wilde, as this sort of borderline incestuous brother and sister on the run after a botched casino heist. They are running for the snowy Canada border. They have to split up for plot reasons. Immediately after they split up, she hitches up with an ex-con played by Charlie Hunnan, who's fresh out of prison and is en route to his parents' house. Why are you laughing? I just love the idea of a couple splitting up your brother and sister. Why have we got to go separate ways? Oh, plot, plot reasons. reasons. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Because otherwise they're, they're too easy fun. So Chris Christopherson and Sissy Spacek. Meanwhile... He's he's already on the run, having come out of prison, and then he's had an altercation with his boxing mentor, which has ended badly. Meanwhile, Kate Mara, who's working for the police department, and her father, who is this sexist pig who is actually also her boss, doesn't want her to get out and investigate the case. So, anyway, all these things, are com- all these plot strands are coming together in this sort of strange, heated, broiling, but freezing environment. The interesting thing is that because the film features a scene in which a female cop finds dead bodies in the snow, everyone will go Fargo, Coens. And in fact, everyone has done that, which funnily enough, it's not that at all. I saw this with uh, James King, who's a very smart guy. And James King said, you know, it reminds me of the John Dahl movies. And John Dahl, there was a point in his career when he was sort of on that border between, you know, will the film be theatrically released or will it be released straight to video? Is it art or is it trash? It's that kind of, you know, that that sort of smart B, art house B movie aesthetic. And, and there's also a touch of Romeo is bleeding in here in terms of that kind of, sort of histrionic, overcranked uh, feeling. And actually, I surprisingly enjoyed this much more than I thought I was going to, partly because it's it seemed to be I mean, it's very well lens. It looks good and it's crisp. And I like that. You know, I, I kind of I like the setup. But more than that, I like the fact that it's one of those films you're never quite sure where it's going next. So there are moments of extreme violence. There are moments of bizarre comedy. It's all the whole thing has got a sort of twisted family's thread because it's the brother and the sister and the son attempting to reconcile with his parents. There is one extraordinary sequence in which a bunch of people sit round a table for a Thanksgiving meal in which, you know, at any moment, everything could turn really, really bad. Everything has turned badly nasty, but it could turn really badly nasty. It goes from moments of, you know, strange flashes of brutality to moments of comedy very quickly. The funny thing is, had it come out in the way that some of those John Dole films, you know, almost sort of sneaked out, almost on the straight to video market, I think people would have been a little would have been a little, you know, readier for it. I sat down thinking it's just going to be completely throwaway and it doesn't seem to be getting a very big release. It doesn't seem to be something that's got a lot of weight behind it. But Chris Christopherson and Sissy Spacek are fantastic. The scene with Sissy Spacek and Eric Banner and Eric Banner is, I mean, I love Sissy Spacek in almost anything anyway. But it's one of those films in which it's the little curlicues, it's the details, it's the strange incidental moments about making pie. I mean, this is, you know, compare this again to Dead Man Down, which is a similarly titled movie in which one of the things I like best about it is Isabel Huppert and her Tupperware. It's the small details that make the the increasing absurdity of everything else work better than it has any right to. Yes, it's sort of trashy and throwaway, and and uh, but it it is all those things knowingly so. There are also some genuine <gasps> moments and some genuine oh moments and little bits in which you wince, little bits in which you laugh. I was never bored, and that is something to be proud of. Not be making a film that that I'm not bored by at all. 